Good morning to you, Diesel. Top of the morning. Why are you whispering, man? Uh, I don't know. So, uh, yeah. We're here at uh, the 10 speed truck center, truck service center. Remember yesterday I left you with that cliffhanger saying my air conditioning didn't work? Great, so I have no air conditioning. Which is fine. So I'm just gonna go and pick up uh, the part that I need at a Freightliner and on the way home. And I'm going north from here anyway, so I'm not gonna need air conditioning. I'll just need air conditioning while I'm down here. But I'll just sleep during the nights, right, I guess? and. Keep the windows open during the day. So like I was saying yesterday, uh, when I was in Newfoundland, I noticed that my bunk heater stopped working as well. It's not working right. It's uh, it's not heating properly. So I gotta get my bunk heater and my air conditioning fixed now. Uh, these guys quoted me at about 180 bucks to fix it here. I'm gonna see if I can get that cheaper back home and stuff, but we'll see how far we can go. But yeah, it's just the air. Uh, it's just the line for the air conditioning, right? So, the truck is fine. Diesel, it's gonna be a little bit of a hot day, man. It's gonna be a little bit of a hot day. It's supposed to get up to like 80 to 90 degrees here too, which is like what, 30 to 35 Celsius. Yeah, we better get going. Anyways, I wanted to give a quick shout out here to someone in England, Charlie Stacy. He loves watching my videos and he loves the Diesel Weasel, Diesel. They're watching you all the way out there in England, man. Look here, man. Diesel. Hey. In England, man. In England, mate? Yeah, where is England? England's across the ocean. Across the pond. They're the ones who made Canada. And the United States. They came here and they settled everything and then we went, we want to do this on our own now. And then we sort of just went and did our own thing. Canada's still a part of the crown. The United States is completely independent. Very independent. Very independent. Absolutely. <laughs> That's cool. We all came from the same place though, so. Hello to you. Uh, your dad. His name is Adam Stacy. Oh, you enjoying the heat, man. You enjoying the heat. It's hot. Especially without air conditioning. But that's fine. We're doing okay. We just stopped at a pilot. Uh, an exit three and something something in Georgia somewhere. I don't really know but uh, Got to get a little bit of work done here uh, Sweep out my trailer and whatnot. And what are these little bugs think they're doing on my window? No fornicating on my truck get out of here crazy bugs You see that diesel that was disgusting man Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna get this done real quick here and then keep moving because the longer we sit here, the hotter it gets. So we got lots of cold water for me and Diesel. We're gonna keep ourselves cool. And before you know it, we'll be up north and we'll be talking about how cold it is. It's just how it goes. Georgia collectibles. Do they got alligators in Georgia? Yeah, there's another alligator. I figured they got alligators down here.
Look at that smile. You're loving this weather, aren't you? Oh, I was until you put that camera in my face. He's got his fan on him. <laughs> he's just, he's just loving it. He's like, man, this is like being a king, man. You are the king of everything one foot above the floor. Everything above that is mine. So anyways, yes, we are done. Everything we needed to get done here and we're gonna hit the road now. So let's go to Atlanta. How about that? Let's go to Atlanta, Georgia right now. Oh, it is hot still. <laughs> it's hot. Life without air conditioning. Oh yeah. Well. We're ready to go now. We're just gonna leave Atlanta and we're gonna head north away from the heat. Usually you'd wanna go towards the heat. Now we wanna go away from the heat. <laughs> oh, that's just life, eh, Diesel? It can never be perfect. Anyways, guys, I really don't have that much time to talk right now. I'll talk to you in a little bit. <laughs> this here is the image of goodness. I'm only having one today though, because it's a quick break. We just stopped here, uh, somewhere, north of Atlanta at a pilot. There it is, see, pilot, there's a game right there. Pumps over there. See, wasn't, wasn't lying to you. Uh, quick break, just to make one sandwich, because I'm hungry. And then we're uh, gonna go up to Knoxville, Tennessee. At least that's where we're gonna try to get to tonight. All wrapped up in a little bundle of goodness. Diesel, are you excited for me? Are you excited for me? I'm simply thrilled, man. Simply thrilled. I really don't care. Oh, whatever, fine. It's gonna be delicious. All right, guys. Get back at her. Flying J, flying J. Where else do we stop at night? <laughs> Diesel. Where's walking the weasel? Walking the weasel. Whoa. Dude, you see that right there? That is a rat. Did you see that? I'm just minding my own business. Walking past the garbage can here, minding my own business, and a rat jumps out. Good to know we'll be sleeping around a bunch of rats tonight. You see that diesel? Well, I saw it, man. Why didn't you let me taste it? It looked delicious. Mm, it probably was delicious. All oh, these wondrous, roaring machines of strength. Plus, there's more up there yet. There's like two parking lots. I guess they built this first. Then they figured, no, this isn't big enough. They got smart. And they finally listened to me and watched my videos, and they built another parking lot back there because there's never enough parking. But even with that extra parking lot, there's still not enough parking. Never enough. Oh. Hey, they got a blue beacon over there. Mm -hmm. Blue beacon is the, it's a franchise chain of truck washes that are across the continent. I think I've shown them in my video quite a few times already. Sorry guys, I didn't grab my good camera, so you guys probably can't see me very well. I have one Sony camera, it's my Handycam. It's a lot better for vlogging at night, and this is my uh, Canon Power Shot. It's better for during the day. So sorry I grabbed the wrong one. Hopefully you guys can still see me here. Uh, we're just gonna head back to the truck and walk past our rat infested garbage can one more time to see if we can uh, see Mickey Mouse's evil cousin in there again. What do you think, you think he's in there? Here you go. Here you go. Who was that, Diesel? Who was that? Do you know who that was? And there were two other dogs over there, man. They were right there. Right there. Always lots of people uh, with dogs at the truck stop. I love seeing that. Like I said a few days ago, or was it a week ago or whatever, huh, a couple of weeks ago. For the longest time, I thought I was like the only one, like a rare kind of guy having dogs in the truck with me, or a dog. 
Nay, nay. Very wrong. Many, many, many drivers travel with dogs, and it makes sense. They make great companions. You can vent to them all you want, and they still love you. You can get mad at them, and they still love you. <laughs> you can train them to shut up. Hey, right, Diesel? You are perfect. You are the perfect companion. A tail wag over there, a little acknowledgement. Thank you very much. Actually, man, I'm just worried about those other dogs over there, man. I think they wanted to play, but I wasn't sure. Diesel, you scare every new dog that you see. You are so crazy wild when you meet a new dog. You all get up in their junk with your nose, and that's just disturbing. Nobody likes that, man. Nobody likes that. Hey, right? There's a, a one-sniff rule. You get a, a nice little sniff. You figure out what their name is from their hind end there, and then that's it. But no, no, Diesel takes it to the next level and just goes to town. He wants to know what their name is and he wants to know for sure who they are, you know? He likes to get right up close there and get their scent. Weird dog. Now that I gave you all that image in your head, sorry. My bad. That's just what he does when he meets new dogs. It's just weird. Like privacy, out the window. Private parts, oh, who cares, right Diesel? Anyways, sorry. It just reminded me when he met that stray dog, uh, was this yesterday? It reminded me of how he's like that. Like, Diesel, come on, man. You're embarrassing me. Sorry, you're right, man. You embarrass me every day. True. Touche. Anyways, guys. So we are in Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, city of something. City of hard knocks, Knoxville. I don't know. It's known for something. But we're in Tennessee. State of music. I love the music that comes out of the state. Anyways, guys. I will talk to you again tomorrow. 4 a.m. Central Time, like usual. As far as I know, everything's still on schedule. Still good to go. Oh, that guy's got a beeper on his truck. Oh, I hate those things. Seriously, every time I hear a guy like that with a beeper late at night... I feel like crawling under his truck at night and snipping those wires so that that thing doesn't beep anymore. I've never done that, obviously, but... Oh, I hate those things. Like, seriously, if you need a beeper to tell people you're backing up, maybe you should just make sure there's nobody behind you. How about that? Old school. It's worked like that since the beginning of time. Now suddenly everybody needs beepers. You know, it used to be just common sense. You know, you don't walk behind a semi. Oh, no, nowadays people don't know that common sense. Now we got to put beepers on our trucks to let them know, hey, not a good idea to be back there right now, bud. Sorry, shouldn't be back there. Tell you what. I'll tell you something about those beepers. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't care. Trucker Josh, it's about safety, Trucker Josh. Well, there should be an off switch to them. So that when you're backing in beside me at 2 in the morning and you can't get in your spot, so you're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Maybe you should turn that thing off. Just, just saying. Hate beepers. Oh. I've never had a truck with a beeper. Except when I, before I had this job, I worked at a, a local place when I first got my license for a while. They had beepers on those trucks. But we only drove them during the day and they were day cabs, right? And it made sense because we did city runs. So there's lots of traffic and pedestrian traffic around us all the time, right? Then a beeper makes sense. But on highway tractors? Really? How often is a highway tractor in a position where they need to let people know behind them that they're backing up? Usually it's like at a truck stop or at a dock where everybody's wearing like reflective vests and everything and everybody knows what they're doing. Anybody at a truck stop knows not to walk behind a truck that's backing up with its four ways on. At least most people do. I guess there's some people that don't. It's a sad world we live in when we need beepers on our trucks just to keep everybody else from going behind us and getting run over. People should be smarter than that. But nope, nope, we need beepers on our trucks apparently. Tell you what, as long as I'm allowed to, I'm not going to have a beeper on my truck. Nope. I think it is rude. I hate those things. Have I told you how much I hate those beeper diesel? What do you think? Uh, I don't really care, man. I was wondering where that rat went. 
That was an ugly rat. It scared the daylights out of me. Almost as bad as that snake I almost stepped on the day I hit the moose. I've been talking long enough, guys. You guys are tired of hearing my voice. We'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time.